heavy sigh. So I'm on my way home and I just saw, I just was in a situation and I saw the driver, got a very good clean look at the driver. There are some people who really ought not to have got their license. This person looked panicked to be driving with another lane of traffic next to them in a 60 kilometer an hour zone. I was, uh, I signaled my lane change because there was a, a lane blocked. They were coming up behind me. I was courteous to kind of, hey, signal and wait a moment and then start my lane shift. I guess I should have just cut them off, like just jumped in front of them as soon as my signal light was on or maybe done it without even signaling and just jumped in front of them because there was plenty of room for me to get in front of them had they not accelerated. So as I started my lane change, I had to go back to avoid a side swipey kind of hit. And then when I looked over as they went by, this young woman looked petrified to be driving a car alone down a road. She just looked completely frightened. Like, I don't know if I can do this, kind of look on her face. Her body language and everything said that as well. So, and I've seen this kind of thing before, and it isn't always young people. There's, I've seen old people who are white knuckling it down the road, and there's nothing really going on. They're just apparently having a really hard time keeping the car on the road. Like they look like they look like they should be in a much more challenging situation. But anyway, uh, I have a feeling. I have a, a, a concept about driver exams and they should probably happen every few years you should be told to go to a driver examination and they should take you out into busy traffic and see how you handle it and if you can't handle it you don't get a license because the people who are freaking out when there's not a whole lot really going on those are the people who are causing some accidents in my opinion anyway i that's all i got that's it bye